Yo guys, what's going on? Bonzi Chan here, back at the chart video, and today we are looking at uh, John Kettler's second place Decidueye Vile Plume list that he used to, to he piloted to second place at the North American Intercontinental Championship uh, last week. And um, this is a list that he's been playing a lot of. He says that he did an interview with a couple other, um, with a couple different YouTube channels and Super Rodcast. Uh, he said, really, since the last time that he played this deck at a regional before Guardians Rising, he said there's only a five card change. Two, you know, obviously two, one, two of which are Tapu Lele, one was Field Blower, and he said a couple other things. But pretty much this list has not really changed since his first inception. And we're just going to go through it right now real quick. Um, he runs a 4-4, he runs a 4-4-4 line of Decidueye GX. Of course, you know, 240 HP Stage 2 Pokemon, weak to fire. Retreat cost of two has the feather arrow ability, was that she use puts two damage counters on one of your opponent's best Pokemon per turn. So if you have three out, you can put out 60 damage counters in any way you like it, as long as you know 20 here, 20 here, 20 there. Uh, Razorly for grass and double cost is 90 damage, and Hollow Hunt GX put three cards from your discard pile into your hand for a single grass energy. Pretty good GX attack in this deck since you don't play any recovery other than two revitalizers, helps you grab your, your energies and stuff back. A 2 2 2 line of Vile Bloom. Uh, irritating Pollen, both players can't play item cards from their hand, uh, really slows down your opponent, really shuts down what they can do, they can't play things like VS Seeker or Ultra Ball, things that slow them down from getting set up. Uh, two copies of Shaman EX for draw support. Uh, one copy of Lugia, now he, he said that the deep hurt, the reason why he still played one copy of Lugia, rather than just playing three Tapu Lele, was that the deep hurricane attack, he says that did come out quite a bit in his testing, and he felt like it was worth including. I am, in my own testing, I've yet to see Deep Hurricane come up, but I don't doubt the man who piloted this deck to Nationals and won a couple regionals with it. I don't doubt his his his, his opinion. Uh, two copies of Tapu Lele for, draws for, the, for the Wonder Tag ability, as well as Energy Drive is a pretty good attack to have, especially if your opponent is loading up a lot of energy into one Pokemon. One copy of Field Blower to get rid of our opponent's tools and stadiums. Only one, because you know, obviously we're trying to get that item locked down, so we're just having one in. It's mostly as a tech in against... Uh, Garboder, Garbotoxin Garboder, so that way you can sh get off rid of their float stones or get rid of whatever tool card they put on there so that way you can still use your abilities. Uh, two copies level ball, uh, lets you hit your Oddishes, your Gloom, Gloom, as well as your Browlet and your Dark Tricks, so lets you hit, um, helps you fill in those stage, that, that evolution gap. You know, let's say you have a Rowlet and Decidue, let's say you have a Rowlet down and Decidue in hand, you can grab the Dark Tricks, same thing with Oddish, Vile Plume, and Gloom. Uh, two copies of Revitalizer, in case you have a bad Sycamore, grab back your Decidueye or your Vileplume. Three copies of Trainer's Mail, four copies of Ultra Ball, because it's Ultra Ball. Four Forest of Giant Plants this is what makes the deck go off. Also, some people like to call this deck Forest of Broken Plants, uh, just because it lets you skip evolu waiting the evolution rule of having to wait a turn. Um, so you can, like, if you have a Rowlet, Dark Tricks, and Decidueye in hand, you can go straight from Rowlet to Decidueye without having to wait. Uh, two copies of Lysander to take knockouts on things that we want to knock out. Four copies of N for maximum draw support and consistency. One copy of Olympia as a non-item switching card just to get something out of our active that we don't want in there, such as our Vile Plume or Air Shaman. Four copies of Sycamore, because of Sycamore. Two copies of Floatstone. Now, you really want to put this Floatstone down onto your Vile Plume, um, so that way your opponent can't Lysander out your Vile Plume and just, just leave it stranded in the active, not letting you... And basically, they just can just sit there and wait and for you to concede or for you to deck out. Um, it is possible. I've seen some players, you know, almost get decked out because they didn't put the float stone down on before they got the item locked down. Uh, two cop four copies of Double Colorless Energy. Um, every Pokemon in our deck, other than Vileplume, does use, can use Double Colorless. Shaman can even use Sky Return for Double Colorless to get that Shaman back into our hand. And then four copies of Basic Grass Energy for our four Decidueyes. Now let's go ahead and get some games in. Hopefully, I uh, get some good games in. I did get a lot of really good games in right before I started recording this. Um, and the last one was a grinder. I was going at Sylveon. That was an interesting game. I wish I was recording that one because um, uh, that one went down to the wire. I think we're both done less than five cards in hand. He ended up he ended up conceding because um, I think he was he was out of DCEs and he didn't have a way to kill me. And I was just gonna slowly pick off his. I think he probably did the math in his head and probably realized, oh, he's just gonna slowly kill me until um, he w he wins. Now the question here is, do I want to start with Lele or do I want to start with Shaman? I think I want to start with Lele, 
just because um, I want the draw from Shaman or I want to um, do something with the Shaman. Now, Tapu Koko is going to be interesting. Um, the Vile Plume is probably going to be really helpful in this matchup because they do play things like Max Potion to uh, fully heal themselves. But we are going second, which does suck, unfortunately. Our opponent grabs a Sycamore off the trainer's mail. Does not look like he's going to play it just yet. Now he's going to play it. Um, let's see what our opponent discarded. Uh, he discarded two field blowers. Oh, it, most people don't play more than two, so that's probably going to be no field blowers from our opponent here. Let's go ahead and trainer's mail, see if we can get a level ball. We do get a level ball, but I kind of want to grab that field blower. Now let's just go ahead and take the level ball. Our opponent cannot knock out our Tapu Lele unless he uh, pulls off some kind of shenanigans. We're going to go ahead here and grab a Rowlet. Let's check our prizes though real quick. Should have done that one for level. I, I can, now that I can. Looks like we have one Decidueye and one Valplume prize as far as Pokemon go. Um, one Revitalizer. Two Forest of Giant Plants. And... Uh, looks like an N. Okay. Um, that one Decidueye and one Vileplume don't really hurt. It just means we can't Sycamore now. Oh, no, wait. The, the Vileplume's in our hand. Uh, do I want to end... Do I want to shame it for one card? Does shaming for one card make sense here? Ever. Not really. Let's just go ahead and Sycamore. We know we have the other Shaman, so let's just go ahead and Sycamore. Uh, try to get ourselves something going here. Uh, trainer's mail. Uh, we can grab the end for next turn. I should have level balled first to thin out the deck a little bit more. Uh, we have no force of giant plants, unfortunately, so we're just gonna go ahead and level ball for a. Um, let's go ahead and grab an Oddish. Maybe we can uh, get if we top deck the force of giant plants, we might be able just to put the item lock down without a float stone, unfortunately. I'm not going to attach energy here though, unfortunately. I'm going to leave the, the Lele naked. Our opponent does hit another energy, and he's going to end us, so that's fine by me. Um, see if we can hit a forest or not. We have two forest prize, which does suck. Uh, we do not hit. We do hit the forest, and we hit a Ultra Ball. Um. Okay, we have so we can't play the sycamore. So let's go ahead here. We're gonna drop this forest down. Um, let's go ahead and grab a shaman. Actually, um, we're gonna be doing 40 damage. 40, 40, 80 damage. This Coco. Um. I think this is the right move. Let's go ahead here and Shaman. We need a supporter. Probably an N. Hopefully, we get Dark Tricks actually. Oh, we get, we do get that. We do get the Field Blower. We're just gonna go ahead and get rid of his Choice Band. Make our Lele live a little bit longer. Um, we could Ultra Ball right now, but I feel like ending because I don't want to waste supporters because we don't have a way to get them back. Um. And now, in hindsight, I probably should have just discarded that. Uh, we can do it. Just go ahead and do that next turn, though. We're not off to a great start. Um, if our opponent hits this lightning energy, which he probably will if they're playing 12, um, we're kind of in a little bit of trouble. What is this now? Oh, boy. So, playing the Voltor variation, why is he playing... Zapados. Um. So if he has another Coco in hand, this is probably when he would play it. Uh, he can't one-shot us no matter what he does. Um, at this point, he would have to. He would have to Kukui. 
He's going to Max Elixir though, again. Um, if we we really could have got the item locked down, that'd be really amazing. Sky High Claws for 160 damage. Uh, we do get this down. Let's go ahead and Ultra Ball for a Lele. Oh, uh, we need to draw cards. Um, do I want to enter Sycamore's question? I don't really want to discard two Grass Energy, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves a N. Drop the double cards onto the Dart Tricks. Uh, we managed to hit a Forest and a Decidueye. Uh, we can not we can't do anything about that Voltorb. We are gonna be doing. Uh, we can take the knockout and we're doing 100 damage right now onto this Coco, which is nothing to knock it out. Uh, he probably brings up that Zapdos next. So if we, so we should feather arrow the Zapdos. That way next turn we can knock it out. And then we just enter drive and energy drive onto this Coco, knocking it out. If he brings up that Zapdos, all we got and knocks out our Lele. We just gotta put a feather arrow down onto um, that Zapdos and then knock it out with our Razor Leaf because we can attach a grass energy next turn. Um, the way you beat Coco decks is you pretty much just have to get, get, the, get their energy off the board, take knockouts or anything that has energy. Uh, he's gonna, it looks like, gonna put the. Choice band on the bench at those, which is probably the right move. He's gonna end us down, which really sucks if we don't hit a grass energy. Because uh, we need that grass energy to, to respond to the zap dose that's active. We still hit the grass energy, which is nice. So our Lele is going to go down. We're gonna promote this Decidueye here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop the grass energy down. Um, if we ultra ball, I don't really want to ultra ball. If we, I want to, I want to ultra ball, but there's, we have no follow up the following turn. Um, there's no gloom in our discard pile. We'd be grabbing a vile plume and a decidueye. Don't really want to grab anything off of that. Um, I think next turn we we uh. Are definitely gonna put some heart on. Wait, did I not math right? I did not math right. Oh boy, I made a mistake. Why is he playing four Zapdoses? Oh boy, I math incorrectly. Luckily though, his bench is now full, so there's gonna be no shot of a Coco coming down. If he, even if he plays another Coco, uh, he's gonna rush his stretcher, probably grab that other Coco he had on his bench. Oh no, he grabbed an electrode and top a Coco back into his deck. Um, I think it's too late for it to be going for that play. Uh, he's gonna Ultra Ball though, probably for the electrode, and then put the electrode onto his uh, Zapdos. Thus letting him hit for 120 damage. But he's going to be giving up a prize card if he puts it onto the active. Don't put it on your active. Please don't put that on your active. So he's giving up a prize card to do 120 damage. Well, we're just going to take the free knockout on the Zapdos next turn with not even attacking, with just our Feather Arrow. He should have put it onto the Zapdos with no energy on it. This one back here. That way... Wow, okay. Or not. So let's just go ahead here. We're going to Feather Arrow straight out the gate. Take another prize. Oh, we're going to... Do this. 
We're gonna revitalize her here for Decidueye. And why not? Another Rowlet. Here, while we're at it, why don't we just do this too? Let's just discard the end in the forest. Grab ourselves another Dartrix. Right now we're doing 90 damage, enough to knock this one out. So all of our other feather arrows can go onto this one in the back row here. Oh look what we hit right there. Just like that. Might as well get another Decidueye ready to go. We don't need to put any feather arrows here because we're going to do 90 plus 40 which is 130. So let's just go ahead here and soften up this Zapdos right there. That's enough now to knock that one out when he brings it out. And then we should put the other feather arrow here onto this Shaman. That way we can also take a knockout there. No! I pushed the wrong button! Oh my god, okay. Might as well make the most out of this. Oh my god, I pushed the wrong button! Why is it every time I do this, I profile this deck, I push the wrong freaking button? I want it to raise relief, not hollow hunt. Hopefully it doesn't cost us this game. What's he gonna grab? Grabs nothing off that Lele. Uh, he's gonna end us down to two cards. Um, luckily, there's not really anything we need off of these two cards. If we, if we kept that Lysander, though, we would have won right there. Looks like he's going to retreat out of this. Going to take the knockout on our Decidueye GX. He's going to max potion off his Zapdos there. That was a mistake. If we lose this game, it sucks. We had the win. Uh, he does not have another attacker ready, though. So let's just go ahead and promote this Decidueye. Uh, we're going to be doing enough damage with our Fet with our Razor Leaf to knock out the active one. Let's go ahead and put some damage down this back one in case some shenanigans happen. Razor Leaf knockout. He's definitely going to retreat out of this Zapdos. I don't think there's, there's nothing he can really retreat into to save himself except for the Lele. He has to retreat into the Lele for us to not win right here. Or you, even then, that's not enough, bruh. That's not enough. I got more than enough damage on the board. He's got to pull something out here. Versus Seeker for what? What card are you digging for, bro? So our opponent's gonna sick him more down to having no cards left if he doesn't knock out a Decidueye here or a Shaman. Yeah, you had no way of winning. Right there, we're off that sick him more. All right, let's go ahead and get in another game in. Not sure what our opponent was playing there. Let's go ahead here and get in another game. I was hoping that was just straight up Coco. I thought that would be an interesting matchup. But unfortunately our opponent was playing Zapdos and Electrode. I'm not sure what the... I think the Zapdos is not a bad idea. But actually it's a crap idea. Raikou's better. Um, hell, even Tauros would be good, good in Coco over Zapdos. Uh, Jolteon EX is still good. Uh, for the Dramp for Drampa matchups. Uh, we're gonna start off here with a Lonely Oddish. Um, I didn't catch what our opponent's typing is. Uh, looks like we're playing at some kind of Garb deck. So we're gonna be really careful with our items against this deck here. Let's go ahead in here and grab a Rally because we have the Dark Tricks already. Evolve into our guard tricks here. Um, grab this draw at this end here. Right now we have two item cards in our discord pile. I guess one more is okay. 
Uh, I don't want anything off of that. Let's just go ahead and end. Uh, we do have a Lele for next turn. Uh, we could Ultra Ball right now for a Decidueye. Which I think we will do that. Um, so we have one Dart Tricks prized. Um, one Forest. No, no Forest prized. Um, two Energy that were prized. Oh, one Rallet. Yeah, one Rallet's prized. And our Lugia is prized. Okay, these aren't bad prizes. Those two gross energy being prized though is gonna hurt later. Definitely. Let's go ahead here though and grab ourselves this Decidueye. Put some damage down onto that Trubbish. Nest ball. Oh, it's maybe some homebrew Espeon garb. Stomp off. Uh, discards our field blower, which does suck. Um, let's go ahead here and grab a Lele. And I don't want to Sycamore away a Decidueye and a Dartrix. Especially if I don't have a way of knocking out the Trubbish, and I don't want him stomping off all my cards. Um, uh, we can, we're going to go ahead here and Ultra Ball. We still have Revitalizers in our deck, so we can go ahead and discard one Decidueye. It's not going to kill us. Um, I need to find ways to draw into our Glooms, though. And our, I mean, our Vileplume line. Go Did I grab a dart trick? Should I really just do that? Oh my god, I'm so bad. You guys have to realize I'm recording like at 9 o'clock in the morning. I just got off of work. I'm like half asleep. Um, normally not this bad. I was playing flawlessly earlier. Maybe I should have just recorded right off the gate instead of familiarizing myself, familiarizing myself with the deck a whole bunch before I ever start recording. So I spent about two hours playing this deck before I hit that record button for you guys. Probably should have just kept going when I was doing well. I was playing really well, uh, not misplaying, hitting all my moves correctly. And now, of course, as soon as I hit that record button, I start messing up. Oh boy, how much damage is this thing going to be doing right now? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 100 damage right here. Max Elixir. Putting a lot of energy down to that Eevee in the back line. Go ahead and promote, I guess, the Decidueye. Um, let's go ahead and stick more of those guys away there. Uh, we do get this, though. Uh, let's go ahead. Oh, I should have kept that DCE. We can actually... We can... Uh, I don't lock next turn. Just go ahead here. Threatening the knockout in this Garboder next turn. Uh, he's gonna be hitting us for 100 still, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, 6. So he's been hitting us for 6 next turn. So 120 damage. Uh, but this Garboder is gonna go down on our next turn. Without a doubt. Oh, crap, I was going to Ultra Ball for the Shaman. Oh, let's go ahead and just Shaman. Drawing three cards, not horrible. Let's see if we can get hit the Float Stone here. Oh, that's so dirty. So freaking dirty. Go ahead here and knock out this, this Garbutter, <laughs> and he scoops. <laughs> oh, boy, okay. Let's get one more in. Let's get one more person who will play this out with us. Let's try to get one more person. This is going to be the last one, though. I don't like to make these videos too long. It seems like when I make the videos like over 45 minutes, you guys, people don't watch them as much. 
So I try to keep them like around 30 to 45. It seems like more of you will watch to the end of the video. If you guys like the longer videos, let me know in the comment section down below, or if you guys prefer the shorter format. Um, I'm definitely looking to bring in some more real life deck profiles, like what me and uh, Lone Asian did a few weeks, about probably close to a month ago now at this point. Um, just kind of hard to get me and him together in the same room. I'll set up a tournament. Ooh, looks like we're going against Vic Vicavolt Bulu. This should be fun. Um, which means we're probably going to prioritize the item lock a lot more than usual because if we get that item lock down, those rare candies, those max elixirs, all that jazz, mm, done. Dunzo. Ultra balls, though, for a Lele, probably, into a Bridget play. I'd be really surprised if that's not. Oh, no. Ooh. Is the Bridget or the Lele prized? Oh. Um, looks like he's just gonna... Hmm. Okay. Let's go ahead and level ball. Look through our prizes real quick. Uh, looks like we have one Dark Tricks prized. Is that right? Yep. One Dark Tricks. One sh... One Dark Tricks. One Lele. Uh... One Sycamore. One Floatstone, one DCE, and one Grass. Okay. Uh, we don't have a Forest in hand, so there's no point in grabbing that Gloom. Go ahead and grab a Rallet, though. Um, I want to Ultra Ball. Maybe I should... I don't want to end, though. I know I don't want to end. Because if I end, I give my opponent way too much. If I Ultra Ball, I Ultra Ball... For Lugia, I guess. I don't want to just draw two cards. I want to draw three. But maybe drawing two is fine. Um, I really didn't want to end, but I guess I have to. Uh, we hit the Force of Giant Plants, but we don't have the Float Stone. Oh my gosh. We don't have the float stone. Do I, I don't lock. I need to get this Oddish out of the active real quick. <sighs> this Oddish is gonna go down. I have a feeling. If he rare candies into into Vicavolt right here, we're screwed. Uh, looks like he's playing the Aether Paradise. Uh, discard the red candy tells me he not had the Vicavolt in hand, but that might change it now. Mm -hmm. Red candies into his Vicavolt. And this Bulu is going to be hurting. And there goes our Oddish. Uh, we need to hit ourselves a Sidui. Um, let's go ahead and drop that down here. Uh, we're going to have to abandon the hopes and dreams of getting down that... That Vile Plume right now. We're gonna have to power up this. We're gonna have to make ourselves a Decidueye here and go full out for it, I think. Uh, we do we do hit the Decidueye. We do hit this. Let's go ahead and grab a Sycamore for next turn. Uh, we're going to be doing 110 to him right now. Let's go ahead and drop a Feather Arrow here. And then Razor Leaf. Um, this threatens a knockout next turn onto his Bulu. So he's going to either A, he's going to have to topple Wilderness. He's going to have to use his GX move here if he doesn't not want this Bulu to go down. Or he's going to have to retreat out. Because uh, he can only do 1 210 right now with his. 
Bulu, even with the Kukui, is only 230. Uh, looks like he's going to dig, though. Try to set up another Bulu. Have another attacker ready to, to answer our Decidui. Shuffles back in only three energy off the energy recycler. So he uses his GX move, which is the right move to counter to answer our what we just did. Um, let's go ahead and drop the energy onto the Dartrix and Sukumar ourselves. Um, Um, I think we just hold your ball. Grab ourselves some dart tricks here. Unfortunately, or would I hollow hunt for if I hollow hunt? Nothing really. Let's see if we can force a Lysander, maybe. down some damage onto this Bulu. Now he's gonna bridge it. Has the second Bulu ready now. We're gonna be hitting from 110 with our Decidueye. So we're gonna have to put Decidueye so we can answer this. Uh, we're gonna, we need to put on pressure down to our opponent now. We can't play it as passively. Um, I guess we use Revitalizer for a for a Rowlet. Really, at this point, or we can grab. I guess we're gonna do the item lock without the. We're gonna have to do an item lock without our float stone. Um, I'm not sure if it's too late for us to be doing that. Um, we do have another rallet though. They're heading feather arrow onto this top of Bulu, and then razor leaf. Did I not math right? I did not math right. Maybe we should have brought out the Lugia. Uh, he's gonna end, end us, which is not horrible, because we're probably gonna end ourselves anyway. Uh, we don't hit a Dart Tricks, unfortunately. I think we have to put up the Rowlet, anything else. If we put up this, we lose. put up this, we lose. Still no freaking... Dartrix. Still no Dartrix. How many Dartrix did I... Did I prize all of them? Did I prize two Dartrix? I can't remember. I think I did. If I did, then I, I unlock was a horrible idea. Oh well. Thank you for being bad at this game. 
Um. I don't really see, we don't have a way to come back for it this game. Um. Pretty sure we priced two routes and two dart tricks. Yeah, we definitely priced two dart tricks. Uh, that's over. There's no way we can come back from this. Oh, we're just a Lysander away from being dead anyway. Um, so that was John Kettler's uh, Decidui Plume list that he used to get second place at the North American Intercontinental Championship. Uh, tomorrow we'll be looking at a hybrid of the deck of Decidui Plume as well as uh, Low and Night Tails that we looked at yesterday. Tomorrow we'll look at the hybrid of the two, a Low and Night Tails GX, which plays a little, which plays a lot different from a Low and Nine Tails or Decidui Plume. Plays so much differently, different kind of play style. Um, so we'll get take a look at that tomorrow, guys. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what you guys think about the let me know what you guys think about the deck in the comment section down below. Until next time, peace out. Uh, what we can do though is